Jacob from Man of Lady and you're watching Cloud TV. Cheers. Yeah, but then again, that's something that happens more than once, you know. It's not only about Kelting, I think this is something that happens now and then, you know. But, yeah, so what? No. I mean, I mean the, my lyrics are, are always just on history. I don't care that much if it's a political issue today or not. Well, lyrically, it's it's basically history itself, you know. And I I studied that since so many years now. And yeah, I mean, there's uh, I don't know how how you can call inspiration or something, you know. I'm, I'm, in my lyrics, I'm I'm just dealing with history, uh, and it's always on a, on a pretty scientific level, actually. So yeah, I'm just studying the whole topic, and I I write about it. The only thing is uh, that um, they they refuse to write anything spiritual down, you know. And, and why that is actually that has been a, a question in science for many many years, for a long time. And it's <coughs> I think in the in the last century, uh, one scientist, actually a, a French scientist, uh, Charles um, Georges Dumessil, was his name. Uh, he succeeded to prove, or to yeah, to prove why they didn't write spiritual things down, and, and he worked with uh, uh, how do you say comparisons to other Indo-Germanic cultures, for example, those of the Brahms, and uh, yeah, he, he succeeded to prove that it was a, a druidical teaching that they actually forbid to to write spiritual things down for for a religious belief. Actually, they believe that you have. Uh, you know the, those things, those important things of you know the stories of how your people came to be and the knowledge about your gods and everything. They they believe that this is something you should know, you should have in your heart, not just in a book where you can look it up. That's the reason why they didn't write down spiritual things, um, but anything else, you know, like administrational stuff or geographical directions or. Whatever, you know, uh, 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 how do you say, things regarding laws and, and all that, they, they did write down. The, the title is Origins. And, well, musically, I, uh, it's just we, we, we de developed it a little further. I think it's natural <laughs> for a band, I guess. Uh, and lyrically, it's. Uh, it's about Celtic mythology, or more precisely, it's it's about etiological tales from Gaulia, which means like origin myths and stuff like that. That's also why it's called Origins. And um, yeah, that's uh, this is actually not a very easy topic, exactly for that reason. You know, the Druids they didn't write those legends down. Uh, so today we actually don't know that much about it. All we know, uh, we actually do know from ancient literary testimonies, you know, from, from historians that lived two to three thousand years ago. Mostly they were Greek or Roman. And yeah, so it was, it was a, a lot of scientific work actually. It's, it's, in fact, this is our, our most, how do you say, uh, work, work extensive album so far. We, we, we never worked so much and, and so scientific for the lyrical concept of an album. And I've, I've been working together with around three different uh, universities, actually, for that. 
Which ones? Uh, Cambridge, uh, Zurich and uh, Vienna in Austria. Okay. And yeah, that's more or less what the album is about. Uh, well, in, in general, it's each of our albums are pretty much the same if it comes to that, you know. I mean, basically, it's screamed vocals and uh, there's one or two songs with female vocals so and it's the same with that album and there's one song that is uh, completely female vocals and there are just some other parts there's one song for example uh, where how do you say where we switch all the time anyway at one sentence Anna singing and one sentence I'm screaming and so like that yeah okay. and I did some clean vocals for the first time too Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, right now the, the next two months are still like just the summer festival season. But then uh, in, in August, when the album will be released, uh, just the next world tour cycle will start, and that will keep us on the road for approximately two, two and a half years or something. We'll go like around the globe two times. Yeah, within the next two, two and a half years. The new challenges for you to I don't know new we will territories. See. Uh, well, I, uh, one thing we, we haven't done so far and we actually would like to do is Africa. Probably South Africa, we never played there. We'll see, maybe. Yeah, yeah, it's not that easy sometimes. Uh, but honestly, I, I don't care that much. I'm just happy if I have the time to eat something. Shower. With, oh. Or shower, yeah. Which I didn't have so far, for example. I stink like a fucking pig. And I really hope I will have the time to take a shower today. Like a real Celtic warrior. Uh, I don't think so. No? No. But, yeah, they were naked. Is it right? Yeah. So, some were they, naked. Yeah, yeah. But they were actually really, really picky if it came to hygiene. Yeah. They were... I, I think they, they spend a lot of time in front of the mirror. <laughs> It's true, yeah. They, you know, one one scientific excavation, they even discovered uh, a hair gel, like what you are having, a fucking Celtic hair gel. Uh, and it, it must have been something quite expensive because they uh, they managed to to name the ingredients of it. And for example, there was one grain in it that is only growing in Africa, so it, it must have been some kind of an import good or something. Okay. Yeah, but hygiene, hygiene was very important to the girls.